All right, guys, what's up? This is Anthony of Super Service. Ricky's truck here. Long story on this truck. Uh, I've got a video called uh, Damage by Two O Rings or something like that. A uh, long time ago. It's probably four or five years ago. I don't know how long. It was a long time ago. Uh, I'll go ahead and tell the story of this truck. It is 100th anniversary 03. Um, so engine uh okay let me figure out where to start with this this truck has a long history we first saw this truck first time ever was it left a ford dealership and the ford dealership took the cap off saw all the blow by that this that the truck had the dealership told him don't spend another penny on it engine's done it's done game over so he was like well shit so he took it out of there took it home found us came here dropped it off this was like years ago it was in the other shop he uh i've come to find out that the crankshaft was physically splashing through the fuel diluted oil in the crankcase that's what was causing the blow by it was splashing around it was it was just it was causing blow by uh not blow by it was causing aerated oil we'll just say that and it was misting about so whatever all right so took a while we finally got all that done had to do replace injectors uh because it was top injector o-rings leaking fuel into the oil all right so big deal so got that fixed drove it for a couple of years high pressure pump went out of that o3 engine um his timing was pretty good with the local salvage yard uh we're we're we were keeping tabs on the salvage yards uh so we knew that they had this this is an 06 engine that had already been studded and deleted. They had it for like eight grand. Uh, salvage though, right? Salvage engine. So this, Ricky was like, you know what? He's got an 03 to begin with. So what well, heck with it. Might as well go ahead and just get the late model engine salvaged. You got all the parts, all the brackets, Fickham brackets, EBP on the valve cover, you know, just everything. It's updated. It is an 06. Boom, right there, drop in. So we did that. We didn't break it. We didn't even so much as take the valve covers off of this engine because it was under warranty from the dealers from the, the salvage yard. Uh, we plugged it in. It's been good for a couple years now. What are the odds of this shit now? Okay. The same, the same owner, Ricky, same customer has now had two completely separate engines. The whole damn engines are separate. And uh, this one now has fuel in the oil. It's making oil. Uh, it, you know, fairly common in a 6.4, not so freaking common in a 6 liter. I mean, it, it happens. It does happen. Don't take that as me saying, you know, oh, that's uncommon. I mean, it happens. But really? I mean, the same guy? I mean, I've done, yeah. All right, so what we've got set up here, let me go ahead and, and show you. The oil is drained. I've got the driver's side head capped. Right here, let's see. Can you see it? Driver's side head is capped passenger side is hooked up so what we're gonna do i'll look down here and i'll show you let me get a creeper hang on a second guys hang on okay you're gonna look down here and you're gonna see let's see see a drip not really it's been sitting there for a little while uh we drained it last night so not much right not much let's show it right here you can see kind of see the whole thing okay nothing Nothing dripping out, no, no big deal. Okay, so now let's do this. Okay, so laugh at my little ghetto setup. Doesn't matter, whatever. I'm gonna turn this on a little bit. Oh, hey, what's up? Shocking, you see it? Okay, I'm charging the battery because the battery's freaking probably dead. This battery, we use this just for running fuel pumps. So I got the harness hooked up to the fuel pump like I do when I prime fuel when we build an engine. Hook this up, boom. Right there, fuel pump is now running. Battery charger doesn't normally have to be here. I'm just doing it because the uh, battery is fairly dead. So I want to charge it up. So, yeah, battery's not normally not here, battery charger. We just hook the battery up to it. Julie keeps it on this little stool right here, so it's nice and easy. So, fuel pump is now running. It is pumping fuel only to the passenger side head. What we're doing right now is trying to isolate what side of the head, what side of the engine this is on. Look at that cactus leaking. How nasty that is. Uh, we're going to isolate what side it's on. So that way we know 
we can go right into further testing with the valve covers off of whatever side we're going for. That's that's the goal. So, all right, hang on. Okay, here you go. It has been no more than 45 seconds. I just climbed down here. There you go. See it? Dripping. All right, that's passenger side. Ain't that a freaking drag? So passenger side is leaking. Okay, so hang on. All right, here we go. I've got it changed. You can see now we are going to supply fuel to the driver's side head. So we're gonna help speed it up a little bit by blowing some air down in the dipstick tube. That'll kind of help to blow uh, the, the oil pan, anything out so that it'll stop dripping because it's probably still dripping a little bit. Otherwise, I mean, I've already ran this test. I've already done it, but I didn't video it. Uh, it takes a while for it to stop dripping on its own. So we're gonna blow some in there. And then after we do that, here, hang on. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and show her blowing out of there. Pouring a bunch. A little harder. There you go. Getting quite a bit out. All right, that's good. All right, now let's give that a second and see how long, how long it takes to stop dripping. Blowing it out helps a lot. I mean, I only had the camera off for not long at all. It's quit dripping. All right, you can see it, nothing. Nothing. Still nothing, still nothing. So, all right, we're done, we're good. All right, hit the pump on, now we're gonna uh, pump fuel into the driver's side head only. The passenger side has now been isolated. Okay, now we're gonna pump fuel on the driver's side. Let's give it a second. Sit up here. Okay, this video is long enough. I'm gonna shut it off for a second. As soon as I shut it off, it'll start dripping, but hang on. All right, guys, there you go. What a freaking drag. Driver's side dripping too. That is freaking unheard of. How in the hell is Ricky gonna have, what the hell are you doing, Ricky? You putting razor blades in your fuel or something? It's cutting the damn O-rings or something? What in the freaking hell is going on? Because this is a, mind you guys, this is a completely separate freaking engine. I mean, oil rails, injectors, harnesses, valve covers, everything is completely different from the first engine that was in here that had fuel in the oil. And those of you saying, I, I didn't even take the valve covers off. When we got it from the salvage yard, it had injector warranty. They said it started good, so we didn't even touch it. We did not touch uh, the valve covers. Well, I think we did a bed plate though. We did a bed plate. Uh, it was already studded, everything was already done, so we was like, hell with it. I think we did a bed plate. Uh, I know we did an oil pan gasket, oil pan's all painted up, so I think we did the oil pan. Yeah, this is Julie. Those of you talking about the color, that's Julie. But, uh, I don't know, I don't understand it. That's freaking nuts. That's freaking nuts that we got a completely separate engine that is doing the same thing. You know, I mean, you we have to look and consider, look how messed up that stuff is. Crankcase reroutes all screwed up, crankcase vent. We have to, con every option's on the table. We have to consider if something is going on with this truck when it's in service. You know, I mean, fuel, oil, additive, something, is something freaking going on that's causing this thing to, that's causing this to happen. I mean, granted, it could just be freaking absolute coincidence. It could be, but that's freaking weird that two completely separate trucks got the same freaking failure. That's freaking nuts. I don't know. All right, we got to actually, what we're going to do, we got to move this to the third bay because we are running, uh, my oil, oil's getting a little low. 
and our oil supplier called us they got they had some extra oil which is pretty cool so we are doing our very first special ever that truck is coming back here we're gonna put it back here and I'll do it back here in the shop the machine shop but we're running an oil change special right now 80 bucks six liter oil change special hell yeah so uh, I'm gonna go ahead I got like three or four trucks outside I got to get them in get them done little crap and uh, this is gonna be a fairly bigger job injectors both sides and diag more diag shit so what we're gonna do is just uh, put this out in the back and work on this later so there I mean I just wanted to show and verify it both freaking sides what a freaking drag see it's still hooked up for driver's side that sucks all right guys that's it that's ricky's truck have a good day